Here's a short video tour of the Spellphabet Level 4 Version 2 workbook. So this one is launching into teaching about what are called long vowel sounds. They're not really longer versions of short vowel sounds, A, E, I, R. So there's A, E, I, O, U, U and, um, and a few bits and pieces that go with them uh, in this workbook. There's a contents page. I'll put that on the website so that you can see what exactly the um, book covers introduction with a bit of summary of how to use it so here we're starting off with the sound a so we have a as in ape and you just drop the relevant spelling in. it's pretty hard to get it wrong here you put that a in there a as in aim a as in bait now this one is an ending spelling so we don't put it in middle so like here so it must be this one bake and bay and blade and um, then turn over and write the words yourself and see if you can remember which a goes in which word. Start again. A as in Daisy, Faith's Games, write them down, um, write them yourself. And then male and male, noticing homophones, so male in the post and male and female, main and main, the main road, the horse's main or the main, this one's also the main idea. Kids often will ask what other homophones, if they know of other homophones, other meanings for that word. And then quail, rake, rail, save, and shapes, shave, spade. So I've got very similar words um, grouped together here. It's going more or less in alphabetical order. And the reason is that I really want kids to be drilling down and noticing the detail of the letters and the order of the letters and um, not relying on too much guessing from what the first sound is. Here we have eight as in ate my lunch and eight as in the number eight. So a new spelling with A like this. Weigh and weigh yourself. Which way are we going and weigh yourself? Wait a minute versus the weights um, that you use in weights training and so on. Then some others like A as in grey with an EY, grey and hay and rain, uh, uh, sorry, rains on a horse as contrasted with rain and falling from the sky. They, of course, is a very common high frequency words kids will often know. And then break and crepe and gauge so some sort of funny spellings of a and when you've done those funny ones these are very common words so kids are very often aware of tire gauges and pan um, crepes and um, you know, steak the meat steak as distinct from the stick steak when you finish this section you take the words and write them in columns and group them so you can see or oh, cafe pate Oh, and um, Great Break and Steak, there's really just three, unless your name's Seamus or Reagan. A as in straight is very like A as in freight and they and the E-I-G-H ones. And But the main, main ones are these ones, A-E, A-I, A-Y. And you just sort of nail down these other ones and learn there's just a few words that have each of those ones. Otherwise, use these spellings. Okay, so these funny um, sound, these sounds that have a lot of different spellings, often there's not that many words that have the hard ones and they follow pretty much a pattern. After that, we're on to I. So I is in a like, bike, blinds, chives, dive. And there are three different spellings for that one on, as in these words. And then uh, more of the same with this, the different I sounds, the different same I sound, different spellings, I should say. Then we have a new spelling I like in type and I like in style. And then we have this one, I as in fright and night and high and heavy sigh. Then changing the Y at the end of apply into IE to get applied. I applied for the job or she dried her hair or three flies or French fries. And then, so for this um, part of the book, I'd fold it over and do the copying, then turn it over again and write independently. So there's not copying now, you're having to do it from memory. Then, I as in buy in the shop, buys and buy and die and die. So the plants that die versus die, she dies her hair or dies something, dies, I don't know what it is that we're dying in there, dies her hair, here we go. And uh, so funny spellings of I, and then again, put them all in a chart and have a look at the lists. Often you can see a pattern, or that one's an ending one, or that one often goes with those sort of spellings. And then move on to the next vowel is O. Bloke, boast, blow, broke, cloak, coast, cone, dome, drove, flows. So we've got three main spellings here. This one is the ending one. And globe, goat, hole, joke, loaf. Oak over, poached road, and show smoke soap. Now uh, some two syllables, elbow, follow, minnow, rainbow, 
and then some funny spellings of O like the yolk of an egg and sewing things with a needle and toe I stubbed my toe and then put them into a chart again so you've got a bit of a snapshot how do we spell O these are the main spellings these are the funny ones don't panic there's not too many of them Ooh, as in bloom and boom and boots and broom and crew and drooled with two main spellings there uh, more words, goo, groom, kazoo, loosen, blue, glue. Now we're getting a couple of extras. Ooh, like in soup and group. Ooh, like in glue and clue and blue. Ooh, as in baboon. So slightly longer words. Palutula hoof with a letter U by itself for the ooh. And then um, ooh as in do and to. And who as the, and who also the same one with just an O. Through, how about that? O U G H. Shoe is like canoe and pretty much no other words. <laughs> There's a funny U. Usually that's an O. And two, um, it's like twins and twice. T W, tw twelve and twenty. It, it, it signifies the meaning to the um, one. One plus one is two. Then U. Um, sorting, put them all in groups, eyeball the list, see what sort of spellings, so, sorts of words um, contain that oo. Have a look at, you know, at the end of the word, the middle, the beginning, what kinds of spellings go with it. And then you, this sound has abuse, it has a little y in it, but there's no point in paying too much attention to that because we don't write that y. Um, and often in words like news, news, Americans say news and we say news. So in different accents, sometimes that little yip drops out, but the spelling stays the same. The good news is that whatever your accent, the writing is pretty much the same. And oo as in new, uh, and uh, I only have a few. Oo as in argue, and do with ue, like that. Sort them into groups, there's only four for that one. And then e. E has a lot of spellings. Double E as in, oh, as in uh, beef and bleed and breed, or E A as in beach and beans and bleat. So again, I've got lots of but words here because too many kids rely on the first sound, first letter, and guess the rest. So I'm really forcing them to pay attention to what goes after the first letter. Uh, e as in clean and feast and feel, E as in geek and heap and jeans and keep, E as in leak and lean and leash and queen and rich. And scream and speak and speech and seal and steam and teeth. There are so many E's like that. And then we get to E with IE as in priest and field and grief and yield. And E with E something E as in uh, mon, uh, T Marie's, OB, small T's, Lebanese, which sometimes carries the meaning the people from Timor, the people from Malta, the people from Japan. So that can be a uh, that ESE can be a morpheme as well, a meaningful word part. E as in bully, uh, jelly, messy. So we met that in workbook three, but another little practice of it. Chimney with EY. Jockey, money, parsley, valley. E as in apricot. These are all things we met in workbook uh, three, but again, another round of them, and it's slightly longer word. Marsupial words, marsupials, media. And then E, like in trampoline, magazines, marine, sardine. So typically it's an I-N-E ending. Sometimes not though, sometimes petite or police. And then some funny, funny E's like Nintendo Wii and people and a circular key. Very funny spellings of E. Not so common, protein. And then I've got two pages of sorting for these because there are so many alternatives for E. And then just adding, making an ED um, verb, a regular past tense verb out of words that end with this long vowel E. So caged and duped. We just add a D, but it's really an ED because it's a past. So she, uh, what would that be? Shaped the clay and he piped the icing on. And uh, these ones again, so caped and doted, doted <laughs> versus dotted. So showing the difference between caped and capped, doted and dotted, hoped and hopped, pined and pinned, with a double or without. That's it for workbook four. And so that's uh, a good way through the vowel system and the next workbook covers the rest of the vowel system.